here. Today we are at Hollywood Studios, my favorite Disney park. Let's go! As we enter and walk down Hollywood Boulevard, let's talk about a few fun facts. Disney's Hollywood Studios opened in May of 1989 under the name of MGM Studios, but it was rebranded to Hollywood Studios in January of 2008. And I, for one, always end up calling it MGM Studios. <laughs> I guess it's just stuck in my head that way. And our first update here at Disney Hollywood Studios has to do with Fantasmic. Let me give you all the details. Fantasmic is an open air nighttime musical show with 50 live performers, massive set pieces, pyrotechnics, music, and water effects. Make sure to check out the entertainment schedule on the My Disney Experience app for show times. Fantasmic returns November 3rd. And beginning on October 26th, Fantasmic dining packages for select Disney restaurants for Hollywood Studios will be available for performances on November 30th and on. Disney has also released table service restaurants that will participate in the dining package as well as their pricing. Purchasing a dining package will get your party priority seating in the center of the amphitheater for the show. Participating restaurants include 1950s Primetime Cafe, Hollywood and Vine, Mama Melrose Italian Restaurant, the Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater, and the Hollywood Brown Derby. All right, and let's head on in to the Hollywood Tower of Terror. It's a 50 minute wait. Let's start the timer and see how long it really is. So exciting, favorite ride here at the park. Did you know for the Hollywood Tower of Terror that the storyline of the attraction is set on Halloween night, October 31st, 1939? And check this out. The grounds of the Hollywood Tower Hotel were inspired by the look of California's Griffith Park. Goofy's just the sweetest. He's welcoming everyone into the Tower Hotel. He's taking selfies with everybody. <laughs> Good morning, Goofy. Lock this door with the key of imagination. Beyond it, there's another dimension. Ideas you just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. Something is about to happen that will change all that. The time is now on an evening very much like the one we have just witnessed. This, as you may recognize, is a maiden service elevator still in operation. That door is opening once again, and this time it's opening for you. Fantastic ride every time. So many different sequences, always a great time. Oh, I love it. And as soon as I exit, I see this awesome Disney bag. It's the Hollywood Tower of Terror. It says drop in anytime and it's $85. I'll show you the inside. It's got that iconic burgundy color. And with this bag, the doors don't move or slide or anything. They're stationary. So as I was in line for the Tower of Terror, half the ride vehicles went down for a technical rehearsal. It was a little bit scary. Now, it didn't extend out the wait time. The wait time was listed at 50 minutes when I got in line, and essentially it was 44 minutes by the time I stepped into the elevator cart, which I thought was pretty amazing considering that three of the five went down. So I did show you that one back inside Hollywood Tower Tower. I wanna show you one of my favorite places to go shopping here at Disney Hollywood Studios. And one of my favorite stores in all of Hollywood Studios is the Celebrity Five and Dime, or Five and Ten. Um, it has fantastic home goods. So let's go inside and check out and see what they have about a pair of oven mitts for $14.99. And for $34.99, they have this awesome like mixing bowl. But I swear, when I first walked up to it, I thought it was a giant sized coffee cup. I mean, legit. See, a coffee cup, a giant one. That'll work, right? And I'm instantly drawn to this Aristocats plate set. I don't know, it's giving me a little bit of um, Professor Umbridge vibes. I know I'm mixing up my genres, but these are adorable. And the teapot from the Mad Hatter's teacup ride, they have a whole collection from it too, from bowls to mugs to trays. Wow, oh my gosh, you could totally decorate your whole kitchen. 
And this mug is $27.99. The bowls are $29.99. And the tray is $39.99. I think my favorite part of this store, not only is the home goods section, which I love, but it also smells like home. It is right next door to Starbucks. Ah, oh, the smell is wonderful. So homey. And lucky enough, I got to go in for lunch at the Sci-Fi Theater as a walk-up. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, I got super lucky. Legit, they told me, oh, I'm gonna have one of the tables in the back, and then they walked me to a car. I'm so happy right now. Oh, that's a great surprise. Here is the QR code if you want to see the full menu. So I'm getting the grilled chicken citrus salad. It's romaine spinach, arugula, and rainbow tomatoes, candy pecans, cranberries, feta cheese, and grilled marinated chicken with house-made citrus vinaigrette for $19. The Sci-Fi Dine-In Theater is one of our favorites. It's an all-American style. It's got hamburgers and salads, and, and it's all set to a 1950s drive-in where it's got these reels and these advertisements and stuff. Uh, it's just, it is cuteness overload in there. I love it every time. My salad was fantastic. I think my favorite part is that they mix it up for you so that you have all the yummy stuff, not just all layered on the top, but it's all throughout. You know, you get to the bottom of the bowl and there's still like pecans and fruit and um, berries and stuff. Uh, perfect. The Sci-Fi Dining Theater is also part of that dining package for Fantastic, so keep that in mind as well. And as we are entering Galaxy's Edge on our little walk around today, I will say that the weather is out of this world. Perfect for a perfect Disney day. It's also been pretty busy today. Average wait times are about 50 to 90 minutes. So let's go check on Millennium Falcon, Smuggler's Run, and see how long the wait time is there. But it's been, the foot traffic's been pretty steady today. Standby wait time is about 90 minutes. And of course, this ride does have a single rider option. Now leaving a galaxy far, far away and heading into Toy Story Land and Andy's Backyard. We've got some cool updates for you about Woody's Backyard Barbecue that was supposed to come in in 2020. It will be a table service restaurant with Andy and his toys centered on a Western theme. And Slinky Dog Dash has a 95 minute wait. Toy Story Mania has a standby wait of 70 minutes. And it looks like they are finally working on that facade of Woody's Backyard Barbecue. You can see some of the scaffolding up there and all of the screen covering the lower half of it. And here's your update on your Toy Story Roundup Rodeo Barbecue Restaurant. Located just beyond the entrance of Toy Story Land, right behind the giant woody figure, will be the Toy Story Roundup Rodeo Barbecue Restaurant. Prior to the pandemic, the restaurant was set to open in 2020. Media outlets are predicting the opening to be sometime in November or December of 2022, but 2023 isn't out of the realm of possibility. So if you were paying attention and you saw last week's update episode for Magic Kingdom, I was talking about the two places I had as an option for working and I chose this instead of scooping ice cream on Main Street. I don't know if I made the right decision. I will say the uniforms have improved through the years here. Standing outside of the Indiana Jones Epic Spectacular Ride Jam, one of our subscribers asked me trivia question and it got me for a second if you are familiar with the movies you should be able to answer it where did Indiana Jones get his name let me know in the comments below snakes why did it have to be snakes I can't wait to see Gertie with her Santa hat and her ornament for the winter season probably my favorite season at Disney is the winter holiday season. Now that we have our updates for Disney Hollywood Studios, let's talk about what's gonna happen in the month of November. 
Beginning November 11th, you'll start to see the winter holidays switch over here at Disney Hollywood Studios. There'll be projections this year on the Hollywood Tower Hotel and see Santa drive by in his seasonal motorcade down Hollywood Boulevard. Also remember that Veterans Day is Friday, November 11th, making it a three-day weekend, but that may affect the crowds the week prior. Thanksgiving is on November 24th, and again, predict there to be large crowds that week as well. Disney Hollywood Studios is one of my favorite places to visit during the winter holidays because all of these awesome things come with your park admission. And that's all the updates I have for you for this month at Hollywood Studios. I'm really looking forward to, the, again, that holiday winter season of starting next month. Look for that early November. And with all that being said, don't miss the magic, don't miss the fun. His name is Faye. Her name is Nikki. Showing how theme parks are done. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Hit subscribe.